Well, are you competitive? Do you like games and do you like to learn? Because the AIM Amazing Tech Race is probably right up your alley. You and your teammates will move with the speed of technology as you race through downtown Omaha. And you are here to tell us more as Aaron Lasser with AIM Institute and David Hopp with Agape Red. Good to see you guys. Thanks for coming in. Hey. We got a whole display set up here, and we're we going to get to that in a second. We got a little challenge for us, uh -huh. but uh, what is the uh, the the uh, tech amazing the, the amazing, amazing tech, tech race, race is what it's called. So it is a race downtown on Friday from noon to four, where we have teams of four that get clues, and they will be going to different locations and competing in tech challenges, and then they will also send out some additional quizzes for them around technology just kind of getting some exercise and some technology together and helping students understand a little bit more about technology. Now what kind of tech stuff challenges? Give us a give us an example. We have multiple different things. So we'll have a tech challenge where they'll program these robots to do a specific thing and David's going to explain his tech challenge which mm -hmm. you guys are going to go through. Mm -hmm. um, we're using down at Union Pacific RFID scanners and understanding how technology works in the railroad and what that does for them. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have time to play with the robots today. I love the robots, right? <laughs> Those are but we cool. got to get to this, but why did you create this event? We wanted to have something for the community where people, where it could be a family event. We do a lot of things on the weekends with just students, but wanted to have something where families could participate together and be able to compete together, have fun, get outside, and still use technology. David, well, should we do this? Should shall we? we? We'll start off. So what okay. we're going to be doing at Agape Red is teaching the kids about the software development process. So in front of you, I have uh, five different steps. Building, estimation, support, yeah. go live, and discovery. Okay, are they in a certain order? Or? They're in the wrong order okay, right now. So <laughs> if you were to think about the process of developing a piece of software, where do you think you would start? And so I, from the start to finish, there's five steps. Are we supposed to be steps. working on this together? Or yeah, okay. you can work together. That's why I put it right there in front of you. I would you get say, a team uh, effort. What do you think? Discovery would be first? Discovery. Discovery makes okay. great first, yep. So go okay. ahead and put that first. Put that first, okay. Um, um, estimation. Yeah, estimation would be and great second okay. step. build. Build, uh, yep. Build, or did you? Build, go live, and then support maybe. No, that's what do you think? Well, no, I don't I was, think that's right. I kind of like it like this. David, don't you, tell us. You, you I'm had it right there. You had it right. What? Correct, Mike. Well, I don't go know. Go live. Much. So you first, you go off to discover what you're going to build with the clients. Yep. Then you estimate out so everybody knows how long it's going to take. Then you actually do the development. Then you go out that's live. The build. Then it's the build. Then you mm -hmm. go live with the production server. Mm -hmm. And then you support long term. So I don't think I'm building any technology anytime soon. <laughs> it's I don't not, know. It's really not that complicated. And that's kind of what we're going to get into here with the next challenge of what I'm going to have you do is write some basic code. So what you're going to do is you're the car. You need to go from the start all the way up here to the end. Okay. Now you can move on the squares without anything, just moving free, mm -hmm. but these are rocks. You have to push the rocks out of the way is what you need to do. Those are roadblocks. Those are roadblocks, yes. And so what your program knows how to do are eight different steps. Mm -hmm. So you can move up, right, down, or left or push the block up, right, down, or left. Okay. Got you, now I so, get it. <coughs> what you're gonna so I think doing, we can figure this out, Kelly. Yeah, I can hope you figure so. out? <laughs> now the question <laughs> is, what's the most efficient way to the, get there? The, I mean, it's, you can do it from any direction, but you wanna do it most efficiently, right? You can really go from any direction. There's multiple ways that you oh, can so get from start to, to end. Oh, so we don't need to like follow like this. Yeah, there's, you can go start up, you can start right. Okay. Those are really your only two so, options So you probably wanna push the rock as few times as possible and you probably want to make as few turns as possible. Yeah, so for example, if I'll just kind of take was, my car off my here. Path. If you start here right now, you can't move right, so you have to add one more step and yes. move this to the right then. So can and I tell you what I would do? Yeah. I would go up first, directly okay. up, because there so you, you only up. have to hit two roadblocks. Okay. Whereas if you were to go right in that way, you have to hit three. So okay. I would say up all the way and all then the way. far right. All right, so that's two steps right there. And then what do you do here? I. Oh, I would take a right because yes, I'd push that would. rock out of the way. Push the rock out the way. Okay. All yeah. right. Let's Good just job, get the push out of the that's way. That's only one push. All right. So that's three what, steps. Can I push it up or does it have to go push it to the right? You can push any direction you want. So from there, want. I would just go yeah, directly fine. straight yeah, okay. all the way up and over. So we got, we're at three steps. So yep. four, four, five, six, seven. And then right. Eight, eight nine, nine, ten, eleven. Is that, that the most be... efficient way? How, what's the 
What have you found? That's in that one pattern? of the most efficient ways. Okay. Is there a more, more efficient There's way? There's actually there two step? ways to get to the 11 steps. Two ways that have the most efficient well, ways. Well, would the other just be going straight up and over? In the the other way, so if we reset this here to start off with, if you start there, if you move right first and then push this out of the way, you have the same number oh, of okay. steps. Okay. Is so there a way to get to 10 steps? Or is there, the most efficient? Not that I've counted. Okay. Now, so 11 want, is the most efficient. If you want to go back to some of the your trick questions where you, you have people who allow you to move out and then up and then over and then down, that could get you four so steps. We but that's, that's a little bit of cheating. We would have almost. done like this, right? <laughs> yeah. Sweet. So you would have started with yeah. that. Yeah. I and, can do it. <laughs> and with the software development process and what these kids really, I want them to learn, there's more than one way to get to the end sure. result. And when you're doing software development, there isn't one right answer. It's finding the most efficient at that given point in time. Well, there's a lot of challenges, experience that participants are going to encounter during the race. And uh, I know you think these events are really important for the tech community and for uh, the community as a whole, but uh, really, how do people get registered for this? I know the information is on the screen because it is coming up pretty quickly Friday at noon. Mm -hmm. So they go to crewlink.com slash brain exchange and you can register your team and it's as simple as that. That'd be a fun Perfect. challenge. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. That was fun. We did get it. We were a little confused at first because I don't know. It's Monday, but we got it. We can now <laughs> we program code. Yeah, there you go. Thanks a lot, David. Thanks thank for coming. You. We appreciate it. All right, today is.